Okay, I'm telling you, you know, Let's go, babe. Oh, Why shit. are you angry? Okay, okay, Did something okay. happen just now? No, no, no. Never let go of Go to the bed. Go to yeah, bed. I, I go can't to be with you. There is no better way, if not the best way, for one to describe that word domestic violence as that act that Ike did to Ileba his own this. Because if there is a man that did this to his girlfriend, then everybody would declare the man inhuman and wicked, right? Or let's assume that is a madam that executed this particular order to her house girl. She will go say this madam is very wicked because this is domestic violence. Ike, you are too violent to be in this show. I practically cried in the early hours of this morning. What I witnessed in the early hours of this morning in the biggest house is pure inhumanity. Yes, I understand that it's all about game, Abby. I also understand the fact that 120 million is on the way. But the one that I am yet to comprehend is the fact that people will practice pure inhumanity simply because they just want to be declared the winner of the All-Stars addiction. Why will Ile Baye pay the price? I understand that you people can scheme anything, do anything just for you to step on the toes of a Levi. But when it comes to the destruction of personal belonging, I felt one just have to draw the line. And the one that got to my nerves again, I kept on screaming, Venita, I thought you were a mother. And come to even think that you were a mother of girls now. This girl is just merely 22 years. Why would you just sit there, watch Ike did what he just did? And you could not even stop Ike. You couldn't even tell you to do everything, but not this that you are doing to Ileba by yes, clothing now. You are just there smiling. It was when she now told you to just go to bed. He said, yes, I have to go to bed. Eh? What if it is you? How will you feel? And Biggie, okay, I understand it's all about the game. But Biggie, the get as he go be if you just let this particular one slide. Oh, I have been busy just ranting and just complaining. But I am going to definitely unpack everything that just happen how we started and how it is going and, and let me see how it's definitely going to just end <laughs> Every Thursday, I set aside for husband to gather in the garden in the pool area for them to do their usual pool party. Abby, prior to them moving to the garden for them to do their pool party, Ile Baye and Kidwire fought because of the aftermath of their Thursday arena game. Now, after they have gone to party and return, that particular fight continues because the husband wanted to just know the essence or the reason for the fight, but Big Brother asked him to move to the garden. But before the the likes of a Pere Angel, I think doing wanted to just know the reason for Ilebaye fighting Kidwire after the Thursday Arena game. She and Ilebaye fought again. Well, I didn't know the essence of the fighting until she was already speaking Yoruba and was like, how will she now tell me that I am crazy? And now she insulted Ilebaye down to her fourth generation. And when everybody was like, what is it to? The next Ilebaye was telling she, yes, what if I say that you are crazy? And so what? Instantly, Tola Nebaj was like, hey, Ile Baye, dare you not insult Shei because you will not like me. And Venita also told Ile Baye, you dare not insult Shei in my front. And that was how they now pushed Ile Baye away. And then Alex wanted to know why she should just insult Ile Baye down to her fourth generation. And that was when it was explained to us that Ile Baye was the one that looked for the trouble of Shei. Ile Baye went straight to uh, Shei's starch. I mean, they said starch. I want to remove Shei's alcohol hall out of it that is disrespect and crossing your boundary and when she now confronted a lady on what gave her the audacity for her to just go to her stack i mean i start to collect her smell of drink and that was when the lady not told she that he is crazy Anyways, Mercy settled the case immediately, and that was it. I understand that Lebe was angry because of what Kidwell has already done to her. Then Dwayne now moved to Lebe to the dining area and they started discussing the reason of the fight between Lebe and Kidwell. It happened that during their Thursday Arena game, Big Brother asked them to just look for a particular partner that they just have to create a business plan and just convince Big Brother on how Money Point and Big Brother should just invest five million naira in their business plan and they just have to draw the plan the strategies of how they will just go about the business the marketing and everything and how they are still going to make gains 
from that particular business. Now, according to Kidwire, that everybody has selected their partner. Then Elebaya was left out. Kidwire was also left out. So while Elebaya was now moving around to look for any housemate that would just accept to pair with her, and they told her that everybody has been paired, but then she got the information that Kidwire is the only person that is without a partner. She now located Kidwire in the bathroom, and Kidwire now told Elebaya that I I just want to discuss about my own business and the uh, Ilebayena accepted whatever it is that Kidwai said that he's going to discuss about the business plan but Ilebayena's only offense according to Kidwai was the fact that Kidwai came out with his own Kidwaya brand instead of coming up with the money point. Well, uh, some of the husbands were not supporting a labor until they just got to realize that Kidwaya was right all this while. Right, one more stretch. I'm going to fucking get at this point. No, 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 and I decided to just approach Ilebaye while she was with Angel and doing on the dining table. Ilebaye started shouting at Kid Y. I said, Kid Go, Kid Go. The way she just shouted at uh, Shay not too quite long ago when she was complaining that Ilebaye took his alcohol and was like, What oh, if I say you are crazy? That's a kid. I said, Go, oh, madam, calm down now. So, Kid Y, I just love the fact that he just maintain his calm nature and after Kidwa insisted on just explaining everything happened I was like sure we are good we are good anyway Angel and Tony were still coming uh, in Lebae now Kidwa now left and now met Pere Cross E.K. Shei, uh, yes, they were about five. They are now scheming on how they are just going to make sure that Ilebaye received her third uh, strike that would just give her automatic disqualification. It was just that deadly. And the person that was leading this meeting is Perry. This is exactly who Perry is. Perry will just come to a place, instigate a crime, and even organize it very well. But Perry will never execute it. For an instance, that was how he was scheming on how to remove white money from the kitchen. He now pushed the entire housemaid during their time uh, in CC Shiny Eyes. And this nigga stepped back. He also used uh, Maria to antagonize white money and that was how uh, Maria was on the chopping board and she has to leave earlier uh, than expected in the show. Whereas uh, Perret was in the game till the end of the show. This is who Perret is. So after all this they are scheming now. Now who go carry out this their plan? Well, so camera now can't come up from where they are scheming such plan no? and everybody went about their business. So there are a lot of things I am still going to unpack. But well, camera here, camera there. Then the next thing, Kidwire was just with Mercy EK. I think Neil was also there. I think Angel in the lounge area. Yes, a lot has been going on between Kidwire and the Mercy ever since they returned from the pool party. Then Kidwire was licking the ear of Mercy. I felt that got on Ike's nerves in as much as he has been already angry and also one of the planners that plan to just give Elabaye her torch strike and with that annoyance that was on Ike now so Ike Waka when they come to close it dear Jay and Venita are also discussing about how the Pepe Dem group has decided to exclude Venita and she when it comes to the pardon me this one is another different entire gist. Well, Ike now walked into the closet, forming angry, and started destroying Ilebaye's belongings and property. Initially, Venita was like, what is it? Who offended you? He said, no, I am fine. He started removing Ilebaye's belongings and was like, yes, this is the right time for me to execute my plan. If I just go to bed now, I might just forgot. That was how I started removing Ilebaye's clothing. I was just destroying it everywhere. The next thing I got Ilebaye's linger Rio, all her own diesel and now moved it towards the entrance of the toilet and even the bathroom just that hallway of toilet and the bathroom and spread everything that a woman was just wearing beneath her body and now went to bed like i said in the beginning of this video Venita saw everything she saw everything and they were just laughing she even told Venita for her to just go to sleep and immediately she even woke to the lounge where keep wire new Perry, Mercy were having a conversation and she whispered everything that just transpired in the closet to Mercy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> 
I sincere apologies if this particular video becomes lengthy. I'm just trying to summarize all the happenstance that led to Ike deciding to destroy the belongings of Ilebaye in the name of making sure that Ilebaye received her thought strike that might lead to her eventual disqualification but before i continue this gist let me quickly remind you that i am still the entertainer with entertaining entertainment and also this is the voice of the commander-in-chief of armed forces of all the entire occurrences of the ongoing people that i just season 18 all-stars edition and as usual my only primary assignment is to always summarize all the entire occurrences that has occurred the current occurrence that might bet for that occurrences immediately after she whispered to Mercy exactly what Ike just did in the closet. Then Mercy said, Ha, this boy, you. And that was how all of them began to go to bed. And in all of this, Summer and Angel are having their own ish. That one is another different matter entirely. Then while there was light up, people has already gone to bed. That was when Perry and Angel now noticed the rubbish that Ike did to the link to Ray and the undies of Ilebaye. And Angel was like, This is Mercy. No, we're not going to have it and angel and Perry were having a conversation we have to wake her up let her come and witness what has just happened to her on the zoo and they were like shall to sleep and angel said no i will go and that was how angel and Perry now went to just wake elebaye up elebaye was so tired because she has enough already in her system and the angel was like, i have to come it's very important and immediately angel was able to just bring elebaye out of her bed and now walk her to the closet for her to just witness exactly what was done to her on this i just love it her calm nature she just looked at everything that happened she did not utter a word she just reversed like a motor and was heading back to the blue room and she was like is that all I said, yes i just have to go to bed whether they did it she just come and continue from where he or she stopped because i am definitely not just going to wear all this again i felt for her i cried what is this girl's crime yes i understand that she might just be disrespectful sometimes yes i understand sometimes that she doesn't even know how to talk yes but this is extreme for you to just pack somebody's on this even if she's your girlfriend even if she's your wife it is wrong ah i don't even know how to just even continue this my lamentation anyway she just went back to the blue room she now slept Pierre tried all he could last night to just wake that girl up again i don't know if he is just trying to play the father figure or he is also trying to make sure that elebaye reacted just like the way they instigated before that the rubbish dating ordeal was carried out by Ike. Well, when Elebaye refused to oblige to what Perry wanted, Perry now came outside and we was telling fraud Angel and Miss to come and see exactly what was done to Elebaye. Mercy was already aware before Perry uh, was telling them to come down. And she was like, No, I'm not going to do anything. No, me, I'm not here to babysit anybody. And fraud was only trying to take it. And Angel, on the other hand, was like, Ah, I thought you guys should come and see this because it's that bad. And Angel was like, This is pure. Wickedness, so people that might just play the tape for which no one did that. And Mercy was already defending Ike. A big brother cannot do anything, you know, that this is basically a game. It was not reminding Angel she did the other day that you scattered a summer's property in the closet. Did people that do anything? They said no. Then why a fraud and Mercy were playing again? Parents, the people have to see this thing. Remember, parents was not telling Mercy, this is your week oh, as the head of the house, and it has been a peaceful week. And look at what is just happening. After going back and forth with Perry, they now decided to just come down step for them to see it's like what he can do to elect by his own this and so it tells me how big you do that kind of thing big how? That power. it's provocation big you like that kind provoke? of thing it's provocation it's it was when Angel was saying that one of that particular undies is already close to the pipe dirty water and the panties is now soaking that dirty water sadly and when Mercy now looked at it Mercy now gathered and picked all those clothes and she now went into the toilet and brought out sanitizer she now returned all those dirty clothes back to Elebaye's closet and we're using sanitizer on those uh, undies then I was asking myself is it not dirty is it not an extended wickedness again for Mercy to just return those clothes back to the closet and was practically using sanitizers on it or is it my OCD? I almost did that but thank god i did not and that was how they returned it and they now went back upstairs before they went back upstairs they were just discussing in the closet oh, and they weren't emphasizing on the fact that viewers will only see this one that was done to labor us on this family that sometimes she was the one that always looked for trouble that was when they even discussed on what led to she and the labor fight because they were not trying to just place 
fingers on who exactly did that to Ilebaye. They said because she has stepped on many toes just this evening that she had a fight with Kid Waya. She also had a fight with Shei. And while she was fighting with Shei, the Tamani Badge and Venita also got involved waiting till they happen. While they were discussing that the big brother just have to remove the camera from them and the closet and now return back to the room where almost all the entire housemates were just sleeping. And Ilebaye did not just even move. I waited and waited and waited to see if she's going to wake up again. And last, she did not just even wake up. I did not sleep up till this moment because I wanted to say the end. Then Ilebe was the first to wake up this morning. Why the biggest alarm was disturbing them? She just went and she now saw that the clothes has been returned to her closet and she was using her hand for her to just remove everything. I was just wrapping it on the floor. And that was when they now went for commercial because seven o'clock already, not even a singular husband has woken up and has gone to arena for their usual yoga morning exercise. And Big Brother has to practically announce that the entire husband should just move to Arena. And she was the first to move to Arena, followed by White Money. And I think I've seen Cross. And I said, okay, let me come and tell you people look, that these people have already ganged up for them to just deal with a labor. If it's okay for people just do whatever you want to do to just play this game, but for you to just gang up, to just punish, to just destroy a 22 year old girl simply because you people want to win 120 million to the extent of carrying the act of a devil is inhumanity. I am patiently waiting to see exactly what Biggie is going to do about all this. If Biggie just let this one slide, let me not even just say what is definitely going to happen next. Because Lebe was complaining all this while that she does not have enough clothing. And now all her entire undies has been destroyed. Are you going to provide another undies for Lebe if you're not going to just address this all? She's going to just continue in this particular show, mentally drained and also moving around without any undies. Well, Let's see what Biggie is going to just do next. And there is a lot of things again that still happened after Thursday pool party. Yes, I will certainly be doing the video badge by badge. So if you don't want to miss out, and if this is the first time ever you are coming across my channel, please do not leave that publicly promoting and publicizing my channel by simply clicking on the red icon down below to subscribe to my channel. Also do endeavor to turn on the notification bell that is right beside the subscribe button for you not to miss out once I upload any interesting, intriguing and entertaining things that has to do with ongoing people that I just season it themed all stars edition. Now in the comment section, what do you have to say about what it did to Ileba yes belongings and do you think that big is going to address it and if possible this disqualify EK immediately yeah, I, I can't be part of it it's good <laughs> that it is also okay by me for you to argue or agree with me but whichever one that you choose to just exhibit always remember first corinthians 14 40 and as an entertainer it's always my pleasure to entertain you guys with entertaining entertainment and 